The program that's going to be dealing with all things related to experimental medicine from fundamental research all the way through to actually implementing research in the clinic for any new products, new drugs or things like that. The, the emphasis here is going to be how to conduct experimental research. The MSc will be broken down into fundamental skills, research skills initially in experimental medicine and that will take up the first six to eight weeks of the, of the programme. So the module I'm going to coordinate is about the basic skill in experimental medicine. In this module we will cover a broad spectrum that underpins research. We are going to talk about engagement with public, we are going to talk about engagement with government and regulatory bodies. We will learn about how to uh, translate your research after you uh, design it in, a, in the most efficient way. But it will also uh, prepare you for the next step, whether you want to do a PhD or you want to go to industry. And then we'll move on then, the students will have the opportunity to choose between two different streams of interest, specialization if you want, one of which will be infection and immunity, and the other one then will be cardiovascular and diabetes research. They will then undertake modules related to those specific interests. The module that um, I coordinate is called Immunity and Health and Disease, and within that module we look at the immune system and how it works normally when someone's healthy and then what happens when things go wrong so it provides all the background information they need to understand in order to see how we're now utilizing all the knowledge of the immune system we have to develop new immunotherapeutics and to understand what's happening within the context of a patient. I'll be teaching the, the sort of fundamental principles of diabetes and cardiovascular disease and as part of that we'll be looking at um, the physiology and the pinning these diseases. Also we'll talk about the preclinical models uh, that we use to elucidate novel mechanisms, novel targets, novel biomarkers or develop new drugs for these diseases. Then we'll talk about uh, current uh, treatment strategies and also we'll talk about drug discovery and novel strategies for uh, prevention of cardiovascular disease potentially and reduction in complications associated with diabetes. One of the big selling points or unique features that we have is that there will be a large period of time dedicated to a research project. The students will choose their speciality and then we will assign projects related to what the areas they're interested in pursuing. We have uh, about 40 research groups at the Centre for Experimental Medicine. So all the projects will be offered from this centre, which is a brand new purpose-built centre, newly opened, uh, with brand new laboratories and, and equipment, and uh, also cutting-edge technologies including genomics, microscopy and 3 CTUs. This student will have, have the opportunity to put that to the hands-on experiment the skills which they have are the foundation for them to apply for PhD or industrial uh, pharmaceutical company jobs. So the hope is there that again we will make our students very competitive for posts as researchers in uh, an industrial environment as well. There is a very wide ranging collaborative network that is built by individual uh, principal investigators the students will work with but also the institute itself has ties to other institutions. So the possibilities, the capabilities of a student to expand their knowledge is, is, is limitless. The Centre for Experimental Medicine is a state-of-the-art research environment that gives a fantastic support and opportunity for students to develop from a research specialist point of view and their own personal skills so that they can go on and be highly competitive either within Queen's or internationally once they're finished these courses. Mm -hmm.